RDL's product introduction at Infocom 2010 marks another industry first with the introduction of the FPECC1 Energy Conservation Controller. This is a module that's designed to turn the power on and off in an AV system to conserve the maximum amount of energy while consuming the minimum amount of energy in supervising the system. It consists of four basic functional blocks. The first input is the trigger input, which has the possibility of four different trigger types. This can be either audio or open collector external uh, switching or uh, hard contact switching from something like a magnetic switch or a, a motion sensor, that type of thing. The second input trigger group is designed to keep the system on. So you can trigger the system with one event, and then so long as the system is in use, by wiring the output of the power amp back into the hold input, this keeps the system active so long as the system is in use. Once the system is no longer in use, that is of course detected by, by the module, which then starts a sleep delay timer, which can be set to 15, 30, or 60 minutes. After the sleep delay timer elapses, then the module will shut down the power to the system. In the event that emergency override is required, there is both a force on and a force off terminal. When either of those is pulled to ground, it either forces the amplifier or the whole system on or it forces it off depending on the emergency situation need. The control outputs on this unit, which are used to control the power in the audio system, consist of a relay, so you can do high side logic switching as well as ground going switching, and it also has an open collector output. A couple of the other features that are worth mentioning, there is a low cut filter that is, can be selected if there's any concern that there might be uh, some hum that could false trigger the system either initially or that would falsely hold the system on, or say to ignore the uh, rumble of an air handler that might be in a room where this unit is uh, is supervising. And then the other feature is whether or not you want to enable or disable a connected remote control from being able to completely shut the system down. This module will run by itself unattended and it becomes the person who would turn the system on and off. But it also has a port for a remote control, twisted pair wiring RJ45 jacks and we have four different remotes that can be mounted in the wall. This particular one is a stainless steel model and it's one of the full featured remotes. You can push the button to activate the system. You can push the button to put it back into the standby mode wherein it is waiting for an external trigger uh, for people coming in to use the system to turn it on. Uh, if this switch enables the full shutdown, a user could hold this button for three seconds, the LED turns red and the system is off and now it does not trigger any longer. You simply hit the button once to bring it out of that mode. The remote controls are offered with or without a level control. On the ones that have a level control, the module, the host module, uh, is providing a zero to ten volt output that can be used to control OEM equipment or to control the master level in your system using an RDL VCA.